Everybody's here. You don't really get the chance to see this type of world-class swimmer all the time. So it's a really great event. All right, well, our first event will be the women's 200-yard medley relay. In lane two is Monarch. Three is Smoky Hill. Then you've got Boulder, Mountain Vista, Fort Collins, Ralston Valley, Chaparral, and Legacy. What we have here, Tom, 200-yard medley relay. Each swimmer is going to be swimming two lengths of the strokes here. We're going to start off with backstroke, move to breaststroke, butterfly, then freestyle. And Mountain Vista in lane five had the fastest prelim time of a minute 51.75. As you watch some of these exchanges here coming off the block, you can see the girls moving before those girls actually finish the wall. Now Boulder with the lead at the exchange with a time of 27.39. Just ahead of Ralston Valley at 27.66. Todd, we were talking yesterday about this stroke, just how labor intensive this part of the relay is. You know what it really is, and it's really a specialty. You'll really see the teams kind of spread apart here versus the backstroke and freestyle where everybody's a little more versatile in those two strokes. Well, it's tight between lanes six and seven. Fort Collins and Ralston Valley separated by just about four-tenths of a second. Monarch in the mix as well. They come into that anchor leg here on that freestyle. Great finish here for Ralston Valley. Yeah, Ralston Valley with a time of 125.31 as they go to the anchor leg. Now here they are coming down the stretch. It's Ralston Valley out in front. And Ralston Valley is going to win it with a time of 151.24. Right behind him in second place was Mountain Vista. You know, I know the big talk here is talking about Missy Franklin, but we have quite a bit to see today. Laura Day, Shelly Patton, Bonnie Brandon, Rihanna Williams. We also have a diver, Mikhail Bauer. It's going to be a great day for swimming. Well, we'll get set now for the... Second heat, the A final, a grouping that will include Cherry Creek, Heritage, Regis, Fossil Ridge, Fairview, Lewis Palmer, Loveland, and Arapaho. And this could be a big race for Lewis Palmer as they're one of those teams as people start looking at the points and how this day is going to unfold. They could be one of those schools. You can't, of course, discount Cherry Creek as well. Very much. You know, we have Cherry Creek, Fairview, Fossil Ridge, Lewis Palmer, Heritage. You know, we, it's going to be a battle to the end here. And these relays are really going to matter for these girls. As you can hear, the electricity in this building, it is loud. I see Creek, Heritage right behind them is Regis. And, of course, Todd, a lot of people wonder at this point, will this be the last time we see Missy swim in a high school meet because you know the pressures to turn pro the olympics that type of stuff this might be the last chance for high school fans to see her in this type of venue yeah you know what you, you never know and i think that's one thing we do is we take each year at a time each season at a time and uh, obviously the next five and a half months is a pretty important time in missy's career this will be our first opportunity to see missy swim this evening she'll be swimming the backstroke leg on this medley relay Yeah, we'll see Missy later on in the, in the final relay of the day. And last night, she swam the first leg. Gave her team a pretty healthy lead, but Cherry Creek, of course, countering on the, uh, on the anchor leg. With Bonnie, who, who came back, really had a strong effort, closed the gap, and, and won it for Cherry Creek. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see the, uh, for that last relay what the strategy is for those coaches is going to be. Well, you'll see Missy Franklin leading things off for Regis in lane four. And for those of you that don't know, Todd Schmitz is her year-round coach. And, Todd, I'll ask you the question I've been asking people around the pool for the past 24 hours is, what separates her from the pack? What makes her so good? She has a great body type, great work ethic, but what is it that makes her special? 
Well, you know what? You'll see her on uh, just on the video today. Um, her demeanor, and she's able to flip the switch not too early and get in the game mode. But as soon as she's done, she's there supporting her teammates in the next heat, uh, smiling, laughing, having a good time. Really, what high school swimming is all about. It's been funny to see girls she's competing against asking her for her autograph. And we're underway. You can see Franklin in lane four, out in front. Like we talked about earlier yesterday, those underwaters on that back but they're so important. And you see how Missy comes off those walls and takes advantage of it underwater. I believe yesterday she led off on a 25-1-0. And if we're looking for anything in a 24, would be an awesome split leading them off. And there you have it, 24-77. Wow. So a great start for Regis as they get into the second leg. We'll start to see Fossil Ridge here really bring it on in this breastwork butterfly, especially that freestyle with their spinners. Fossil Ridge in the green swimming caps in lane five. In lane three, it's Heritage. They're closing the gap. This is where these exchanges are going to get so important. It's going to come down to just these tens of seconds. Regis with a slight lead at the exchange. That's a 30.6 30 split out of the breaststroke from Regis. That's a pretty good split. That's probably about a 29 high out of the Heritage breaststroke. That's a really good split. Well, now Heritage has closed the gap. It's Regis, Heritage, Fossil Ridge. Lewis Palmer on the outside. This is what we talked about. Lewis Palmer really having that coming in the end. Look at this race. They make the turn for the final 25 yards. Fossil Ridge out in front. Fossil Ridge with the lead, and they are going to win this race. Look at Lewis Palmer out here in seven. Wow. Wow. Outside smoke here in seven. You are correct. That's Lewis Palmer. You can see how important on that relay that the entire team is important, not just one swimmer. This Fossil Ridge was able to show there. Now they finish with a time of 145.02. They're in first place. Second place went to Regis with a time of 146.53. And in third place, it was Lewis Palmer with a time of 146.96. So both Regis and Fossil Ridge both posted an automatic All-American time in that.